Yo, my G's. Okay, so I'm still in the proceedings of returning my car, and in this video, I'm following the proceeding that I have to provide him with a letter so that I have written proof that I'm telling him the car is broken and that I want my money back. So here we go. I don't dare put it in the post because then he's just going to say he's not receiving it. So I'm going to go and physically give him the letter. I also have a copy of the letter here. Like I say, it just states everything that's wrong with the car and the fact that I want my money back. I have to give him 14 days to respond to this letter so that I give him a reasonable amount of time, which obviously 14 days is fucking more than reasonable. I'm giving him way too much time, but I am just following the codes and procedures of the law. I'm gonna go and give him the letter now. He's not gonna to wanna to accept it. I can't imagine it's gonna go down very well. So again, I am gonna record the conversation because I do believe that he's probably gonna try and attack me or something. I don't feel very safe to be honest around this guy. Feeling distressed, harassed and alarmed about having to try and get my money back. I just want my money back for the car that I've been missold. Yo, bro. I'm not closing this shit at all. I've just come to give you the letter. Fuck that in the face. I don't give a fuck. Bro. Don't fucking cause this shit, okay? Bro, well, I've Why are you fucking cause this shit here, okay? I'm not causing an issue. Turn the camera off. Oh. Turn the camera off. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Crazy, bro. So he picked up a mop, picked up a mop, shout, turn off the camera, turn off the camera. What are you gonna do, bro? Mop the fucking floor with me. Idiot, bro. Firstly, I would have banged him out, bro, but I ain't on violence, do you know what I mean? I'm a nice, calm, peaceful fucking guy and I just wanna get my money out, bro. Get my money back. Whoa, that guy's crazy, bro. Okay, so he's actually calling me now. Hello? I'll come see you later on to your house, yeah? Why are you threatening me now, saying you're gonna to come to my house? I will have a story. As you can guess, he didn't come to my house. It was an empty threat. I can only assume that what his tactic is, sell somebody a shitty car and then just act like a complete fucking psychopathic lunatic until they just think it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. But unfortunately for him, I'm not the sort of guy that's just gonna give up. It is now just a case of waiting the 14 days. We all know he's not gonna fucking reply after 14 days, but after 14 days, trading standards will step in and presumably be able to give my money back. And I cannot wait, cannot fucking wait for the day I get to drive back up to that garage with this piece of shit car, chuck him the fucking keys and get the money straight back off him. I can't wait, bro. I can't wait to see his face when I get that money back off him. I can appreciate that I can be a proper fucking knobhead and a wind up and that in these specific scenarios, I'm like the worst guy to deal with. But in this scenario, I've kept calm and I've been fucking presentable and I've been an upstanding citizen and he still acted like a complete fucking lunatic, bruv, that needs to have medication pumped straight into the end of his fucking cup. Okay, so make sure you subscribe, like, and comment down below what car I should get next, because within two weeks, hopefully, this car should be gone, yeah? And I'll be buying next time, what, well, I don't know, Lambo things, <laughs> Rolls Royce, Ford K.